it's not gonna work. That, there we go. <laughs> okay. All right, we, we're on, I think. I'm sorry about that. The, the button didn't engage right away. Welcome to the Manufactured Home Show, everybody. Today, we probably will have a soundtrack with the webcast. As you can hear, my wife loves to play loud music. The door is closed and it's on the other side of the house and you still might hear a little music in the background. So soundtrack to the Manufactured Home Show today. Everybody welcome. It's Friday. We made it. And whoo, U of A. Man, if you are a NCAA basketball fan in Arizona, today's your day. <laughs> the U of A beat Duke, the defending champions, last night. Wow. Way to go, U of A. Awesome. I love it. I, uh, Lou Olson's no longer the coach. Good job, Sean Miller. Second year coach. Taking them to the Elite Eight. Way to go. Now, um, as you know, every day the Manufactured Home Show is sponsored by ManufacturedHomeMart.com, the premier online store for manufactured housing. ManufacturedHomeMart.com, check it out. Um, I want to talk a little bit about Starbucks and how I hate them for various reasons. My wife likes Starbucks. I am anti-Starbucks myself. I will go and get coffee from Circle K, which is a convenience store, for $1 for 28 ounces. Sometimes they even charge me less. And as a matter of fact, don't tell anybody, but sometimes they give it to me for free. Now, Starbucks, on the other hand, as everybody knows, is wildly expensive. You sit there for like 20 minutes to get your coffee. Um, this morning, the reason I'm talking about it is this morning my wife sent me to Starbucks to get it for her, which... Usually I don't have to do that, but she's got something going on today. She's getting ready. So anyway, now it occurred to me a couple things while I was at the Starbucks, while I was steaming myself. Uh, you know, how bad can the economic crisis or recession or whatever be when every single freaking Starbucks across the nation is full of people buying $5 coffee? There's no way. Things, things are not as bad as they were in the Depression in the 30s. Ask your grandparents. If your grandparents are still alive, go talk to them about what it was like uh, when people had to make real sacrifices. And I found myself even in the Starbucks. I'm thinking, why am I here? I did it for my wife. We don't have Starbucks every day, by the way. And for all the people out there that you have Starbucks $5 coffee every day, you have no reason to complain about money, ever. No, I note that I said that we don't go to Starbucks every day. There's no way I will let my wife get that five dollar uh, concoction that she gets every day. Um, also, though, I want to say I am envious of Starbucks and their success. Anybody who can convince the entire country um, that they should pay five dollars for coffee, they're geniuses. So my hat is off to Starbucks. In the end, they win. Uh, let's talk about Libya really fast. Um, what are we doing over there? <laughs> Is it just because we don't like Gaddafi? Why do we attack Libya? Now, I, I said yesterday that I'm in favor of taking them out. Well, that's because we already started something. Like, I mean, if you're going to start something, if you're going to bomb somebody, if you're going to send missiles, if you're going to get involved, then, like, finish the job. Just like George Bush, the first George Bush. He should have took Baghdad in the Gulf War, 1991. They would have never had to go back and deal with this stuff again uh, with the other Bush going in there. But he did finish the job, and he did take them out, regardless if it was right or wrong. Everybody's got their opinion about that. But here right now, now what do we do? I mean, <laughs> you, got, you got violence everywhere in the Middle East, so we can't go into every single country. This morning, I was reading that Syria... The soldier shot at a crowd over there. So what, I mean, can we go into Syria, Yemen, Bahrain? The list goes on and on and on. Plus there's other countries in the world down there in Africa, like the Congo and different places where the people are killing each other. We can't police this, uh, uh, this whole area. We can't police the whole world. Um, Obama and then like the other leadership has got to get a handle on like when and where we're going to do stuff. And again, I can't believe Sarah Palin was right. Strike.
strike hard and get out. <laughs> Elizabeth Taylor was late to her own funeral by design. How pretentious is that? Um, I think it's, it's, it is funny. I'm sure it was meant to be funny, and it's probably an inside joke to her family and friends. But to the rest of the world, it's, it's pretty pretentious, but um, not cool at all. You know who's cool? Let me tell you who's cool. Selena Gomez, the girlfriend of Justin Bieber. She's cool because, first of all, she's the Biebs' girlfriend, and second of all, she doesn't take any crap. All the haters were piling on because she's dating Justin Bieber, who, by the way, is a minor, and she is not. <laughs> it's pretty risque. Actually, it's illegal, but who's, who cares? It's, it's the Biebs. But my props to Selena Gomez. Who's cool? She's cooler than Vanessa Hudgens. She's cooler than, I don't know. She's just cool because she stands up for herself. Uh, even to Ellen DeGeneres, who to me is like the worst TV personality that there ever was. Besides maybe Rosie. But I don't know. You know, Rosie is a little edgy. She was a comedian. I take that back. Ellen's the worst. Uh, I really got to get through this webcast quickly today, can you tell? <laughs> I got a full plate of things to do with regular work. Believe me, uh, folks out there, uh, the live webcast that you're seeing right now that is so great and entertaining is not my primary job, believe it or not. Okay, um, Elizabeth Taylor, I'm done with her, good. I want to get out of here, so I want to promote the uh, manufactured home shows that are going on. Not this manufactured home show, but I want to promote uh, the other ones going on, the, the real ones where you actually go and see manufactured homes. And that's all I'm going to talk about in terms of manufactured housing today, because like I say, i got to get out of here. So the Great Southwest Home Show starts on April 28th. That's Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, big, big, big show. Everybody, if you're anywhere near Tulsa, Oklahoma, and you want to see a lot of manufactured homes, walk through them, etc. Uh, information available, mhao.org. That's the uh, Oklahoma Manufactured Housing Association website. Also, if you're, if you're far to the east, uh, east coast and that area in Pennsylvania, York, Pennsylvania, we're going to promote the Home Expo 2011. We haven't... We haven't mentioned that one yet, but let's give the plug for those guys. PMHA.org. I have to really enunciate these letters because that's the, the web name. So for the Home Expo in York, Pennsylvania, I'm sorry I didn't write the date down, but uh, just go to P, <laughs> P as in Paul, M as in Mike, H as in hello, A as in Apple, PMHA.org for more information about that home show. It's upcoming. It's probably within about a month or so. Um, and then also the conference. Let's give a plug for our national MHI conference happening April 26 in Vegas. For more information on that, congressandexpo.com. All right. Now, one last thing about manufactured homes. I'll let everybody go. Every day, I, well, not, yeah, every day, I spend quite a bit of time uh, reading news watching news, listening to news. A lot of what I do these days uh, is researching and listening and has to do with news. Now, why is it that manufactured housing is never, ever, ever part of the mainstream news? It's not part of the mainstream media. Hardly ever do I read an article in USA Today about manufactured housing or, or you know, you guys out there, do you pick up the Wall Street Journal? And there's something about manufacturing. No, never, never, never. Well, okay. Le uh, people that are leaders, you know, we have associations. We have leadership in our industry. Now, let's get into the mainstream media. I talked about this before. I joked about it a little bit. I was saying that we should hire star power, which actually is not so much of a joke. But... If you don't want to reach into your pockets, which maybe we cannot do that, uh, to hire celebrities to pitch for us, which is a good idea. I was joking in the beginning, but it is a good idea. But it requires deep pockets, I know. But uh, 
we need to find ways to get into the mainstream media. There needs to be more articles written about manufactured housing. And by God, this show, this webcast, we are going to attempt to do something like that. I'm going to see, uh, local, we'll start locally. I'm gonna, uh, next week, at some point, I'm going to try to contact uh, the Arizona Republic. And I'm going to see if uh, little old me, uh, owner of manufacturedhomemark.com, can get some mainstream press for the manufactured housing industry. And undoubtedly, that will help me in my exploits in business, but also I'm looking at the big picture. I really do want manufactured housing to make its way in the 21st century. Big danger, uh, I think, of just slipping off the planet. So we've got to do something. And right now I don't see too many people doing much of anything except for a lot of complaining and infighting. So um, we'll see how I do. We'll see. Oftentimes, the, the, the mainstream media is not receptive to <laughs> what some guy who wants to talk about trailers has to say. Now, remember, it's the stigma. That's not me talking. That's, that's the stigma that we are mobile homes and we're trailer trash. Now, somebody with some intelligence in the manufactured housing industry has to step up. And you know what? Might as well be me. So, everybody, remember our great sponsor. I'm out of here, by the way. I'm leaving right now. ManufacturedHomeMark.com, the premier online store for manufactured housing. Thank you so much for watching the webcast today. Everybody have a great, happy, relaxing, and safe weekend. And we'll probably see you again on Monday. Thank you so much. Peace, everybody.